Hello, welcome to my music class. This is the final lesson of the year. I'm so glad you came back. Well, do you know that we have sung over 30 songs this year? Well over 30, and you have learned so much. And I'm gonna show you how much you've learned. So let's get started. How are you today? All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and warm up our voice summer style. Follow the lightning bug with your voice. All right, are you ready to learn that song that I taught you last week, Button You Must Wander? Are you sitting up like this girl, nice and tall? Because that will help you sing even better. Here we go. Button you must wander, wander, wander. Button you must wander everywhere. Bright eyes will find you, sharp eyes will find you. Button you must wander everywhere. All right, let's play our little tiny game, okay? So I just got an object in my hand. Gonna put it behind my back, go back and forth while we sing. At the end, not during, I want you to push up this arm if you think it's this hand, or this arm if you think it's this hand. Ready, go. Button you must wander, wander, wander. Button you must wander everywhere. Bright eyes will find you, sharp eyes will find you, but then you must wander everywhere. All right, which hand is it in? Which one do you think? Think it's this one? And no, it was this one. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. Ready, sing. But then you must wander, wander, wander. But then you must wander everywhere. Bright eyes will find you, sharp eyes will find you, but then you must wander everywhere. Which hand do you think it is? This one or this one? It's in this one. <laughs> All right, so I want to play a little game with you and that is with the song Apple Tree, okay? So this is where we're gonna play four corners. So you're gonna walk around while I sing the song. You just walk to the beat. And then at the end, you're gonna tell me, are you, gonna, are you on one, two, three, or four? If I pull up the one that you're on, then you are out. And if you're not on that one, you're still in. So let me turn these numbers over and Let's do this, okay? Let's mix them up a little bit. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Walk around and figure out which corner is what number. Ready, go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. What number are you on? I'm on four, okay? All right, so what number am I picking? Ah, one, are you on one? Uh-oh, wah, 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 okay. All right, let me mix them up again. And let's go ahead and do it again. Say, start on the same number or try a different number. Here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. And what number am I on? I'm on one, what are you on? This is four. <laughs> All right, then let's try that again, okay? All right, so I'm going to start on three this time. What are you starting on? Ready, go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. I'm still on three. What are you on? Okay, this is three. I 
I'm out. <laughs> okay. Did I tell you you can always jump back in anyways? You just count how many times you get out. All right. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's see. I'm going to start on two this time. Here we go. Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. And I'm back on two. What are you on? All right. Let's see. This is one again. Whoa. All right. Let's do this one last time. All right, and I'm gonna start on four. Here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. And I ended on four, what do you want? Well, let's see, uh, let's try this. Oh, one again, wow, I'm good at picking the one, I guess. All right then, so let's go ahead to bow, wow, wow. Remember, we learned our new note, re, like this, okay? So we have bow, wow, wow, or mi, re, do, right? Okay, so will you sing the song with me? Bow, wow, wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow, wow, wow. Can you put on your body ladder, please? Here we go. Do, do, do. Me, 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 me. So, 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 la, so, mi, do, mi, re, do. Here's our new re, right? Mi, re, do. All right, let's do with our hand signs. Ready, go. Do, do, do. Me, 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 me. So, 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 la, so, mi, do. Mi, re, do. How'd you do? Do the mi, re, do again. Mi, re, do. Well, today I want to show you where it is on the staff. So we know it's between do and me. So what does that look like? So let's go over to my staff. Here's our five line staff. And so we're going to start with mi. But this is our do clef showing where the do is, not where the mi is, okay? So if this is where the do is, we need to skip to the space above do, right? To find our mi. So here's our mi. Now, re is going to be a step below mi, right? So if mi is on a space, Re is on the line below that. See that? It's the same line that's at the bottom of me. Okay? So we have mi, re, and then we have our do, which is the space below that. See that? So we have mi, re, do. Okay? We have another song that starts with that. Mi, re, do. Mi, re, do, 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 re, 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 mi, re, do. Have you heard that song? How about hot cross buns? <laughs> That's it. So if you were going to do another song that had do, re, mi, you'd just do the opposite. You'd put do where the do clef is showing. Re is going to be on the line above. And then me is the space above. See that? Do, re, mi. But in our song, we have mi, re, do. There you go. I told you how much you learned this year. And I'm going to show that to you with music bingo. You need to either open the file and open up one, two, three, four, five on the cards. Doesn't matter which one you choose, okay? Or if you can't have that open and watch the video, then go ahead and print off one of those slides, okay? Again, doesn't matter which one, okay? So let's have a good time with that. Here's the bingo card, and you can see there are five squares down and five squares across. And even if you count in the middle, diagonally, there are five squares. Well, to get a bingo, you need to cover five squares in a row, okay? Again, it can be across or down or through that middle. This X is actually your free space, okay? So you either have a card printed off in front of you uh, there are five different cards that I made. 
all of them have every single picture or symbol in it, but some of them are in different places, okay? So when you get a bingo, you just say, bingo! In my classroom, if you get a bingo, you get a piece of candy or a sticker. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you're using the virtual one and it's not printed, you're going to drag the X to cover uh, anything I talk about. Okay, so like that. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and go ahead and cover the quarter note. What does the quarter note look like? All right, do you remember? We say ta. It looks like this one right here. Quarter note right there. So take your X, or if it's printed, use something to cover it up. Okay, so now we have one there. These are not going to be in the same row because they're not in the same column or row. All right, let's do another one. How about the half note? Can you find the half note? Hmm, it looks a lot like the quarter note, but we don't fill in the, the note head right here, okay? So there's your half note. We say two, right? Okay, so go ahead and cover the half note. Oh, well now we have two in this row covered up. Can you find the quarter rest? Do you know what that looks like? quarter rest. That's where we put our hands out to the side and we don't say anything because it's silent. That's this one right here. Hey, anytime you don't have enough time to look for something, just stop the video and find it and then restart it. Okay, let's see. How about the pair of eighth notes? Can you find the pair of eighth notes? That's this one up here, right? It's got the beam on top, and that shows us these are TTs. So go ahead and cover the pair of eighth notes up. All right. And the new rhythm we learned this year were 16th notes, okay? Those were ticka tickas. Can you find the 16th notes on your card? It's there somewhere. And yes, we know these are 16th notes because there are two beams at the top of the stems, right? Okay, go ahead and cover that up. All right, let's go ahead with something different than rhythm and let's talk about movement, okay? We have locomotor movement and non-locomotor movement. Locomotor movement means you are going somewhere while you move. Non-locomotor movement means you could move all day long and you're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> so can you cover up the boy who is doing non-locomotor movement? Can you find that boy who's doing non-locomotor movement? And of course, that's the clapping one, right? He can clap all day. He's moving his hands, but he is not going to go anywhere at all. All right, let's go ahead and go to our hand signs. Can you find our new hand sign for Do? Which one is the hand sign for Do? That's the one with a fist, right? That's right up here. So go ahead and take your X and cover up that fist for Do. All right. Now, can you find our brand new hand sign for Ray? Do you know where that is? <laughs> the only other hand sign that's on the card, right? <laughs> and that's right next to the X. I made all the hand signs all the same on every card. Oh, look it. Now we have three in a row this way and three in a row this way. It's getting closer. <laughs> okay, can you find the repeat sign? Where is the repeat sign? That's the one with the dots, right? It's the double bar line with the dots. Okay, so let's cover that up. Oh, wow, now we have four in a row. <laughs> we only need one more. 
All right, can you find the one, the symbol that shows the bar line? What does a bar line look like? So you know it's a line, right? Because it's in the word and it's only one bar line, okay? So it is right here, the one with the arrow on it. Can you find that on your card? So the bar line just separates the measures, right? Okay, so put an X on that bar line. All right, well that helped that one. There's three there. Oh, and three this way too. Mm. Let's go ahead and talk about melody because you've gotten so smart in reading music. So you're going to have to know the do clef means where the do is, right? So I want you to find the notes that show do, re, mi. Can you find the square that has the circles showing do, re, mi? Hmm, there's only two to choose from. So out of this one or this one, which one starts on do? Well, this one doesn't start on do, right? Do's at the end. This one starts on do. And sure enough, the next note is our new ray, which is just barely above it on the line. And then of course, me is right there on the space. So take an X and cover this up, all right? Oh, look at that. We have four in a row now. Wow. <laughs> so close. Now, will you find the other square that shows so me do, so me do. So you're going to have to find the circles that don't start on the do. Okay. So here's our do clef. And sure enough, that first circle is two skips above do, or actually a leap, really, right? So if this is do on the end, this is me on the second space, this is so. Yes, it shows so me do. So will you please put an X on there? Just cover it up. There we go. Oh, now we have three this way and three across and three up and down. Let's keep going. Can you find the boy that's doing locomotor movement? Okay, he is moving and he's going somewhere. Maybe he's walking home, I don't know. Okay, so you put an X on that boy. Yep, that he is performing locomotor movement. All right, let's keep going. Can you find the double bar line? Where is the double bar line? When you see that at the end of a song, it means you're finished, all done. And yes, that is right here because double means two and bar lines are just two lines. And let's put an X over that. Oh, now we have four. <laughs> all right, let's talk about some tempos. That's just a fancy name for speed of music. So we did a few this year. One was walking speed. What is the Italian word for walking speed? That is the word andante. Can you find the word andante on your card? And on this card, it is right here, andante. So we're gonna put an X right over that one right here. Okay, starts with an A-N. All right, there we go. Now, can you find the word, the Italian word, not English word, for fast, which is allegro. All right, allegro means fast or lively. So put an X on the one, the only one that has an A left that's not covered up. That's allegro. All right. How you doing? Do you have a bingo? Did you yell out bingo if you've got one yet? This one we do not yet. We might have to figure that out. Let's go ahead with the word for loud. Those are called dynamics. That means how loud or soft the music is going to be played or sung. Okay, so loud is forte and that is spelled F 
F-O-R-T-E. Can you find that word? That's F-O-R-T-E. And on my card, it is over here in the corner, right there. And if we cover that up, oh my goodness, we get two bingos. Do you see that? We have a bingo going up and down and a bingo right through the middle. Wow! <laughs> okay, so that is Forte. So did it make a bingo for you? All right. Well, just in case you don't have a bingo yet, let's do two more, okay? Let's do the word for quiet in Italian, okay? This also happens to be the same word for a musical instrument, and that is piano, okay? In Italian, piano means quiet or soft. In the instrument world, it just means the piano that you can play. So we're going to cover up the word piano, okay? That gives this card another bingo. Wow. <laughs> All right, so on this card, you should have three bingos. My students love to get an extra bingo or two. All right, but just in case you are on a card that you have not gotten a bingo yet, let's do one more. Let's do the one where it's a short musical phrase okay we showed our rainbow arms with this one okay so in uh, Lucy Locket there were four of these Lucy Locket lost her pocket that was one Kitty Fisher found it that was two not a penny was there in it that was three only ribbon round it and that was four do you remember what those are called Motives, that's right. Those were motives. Can you cover up the word motive? Ah, oh, my card, that gives you another bingo. All right, hopefully you all have a bingo right now. And just in case you don't, I'll do one last one. And that is a pattern of strong and weak beats. So if we did the song Apple Tree and we patted and tapped our shoulders back and forth, that would be a pattern of two. It would be strong, weak, strong, weak, apple tree, apple tree. Okay, so it's a pattern of two. Well, that pattern is called meter. So if you don't have a bingo yet, you can cover up the word meter. And apple tree has the meter, a two meter, right? All right, there you go. We're not going to do any more because then everybody would be getting something called blackout. And if your cards all have the same things on them, then everybody would get a blackout at the same time. And that's not anything special because you all would have done it anyways, okay? So I hope you had a great time playing this game and got to see how much you learned this year. I told you, you learned so much this year, right? You did. Well, I want you to know I am very proud of you. You have learned so much, and I hope you have a great summer. Bye.